In this video, we will examine the Total Performance Diagnostic Electric Heat Report. When you log on to your Total Performance Diagnostic account, Total Performance displays the Diagnostic Report header. If you do not intend to use Total Performance Diagnostics Client Report feature, then the Client, System Information, and System portions of the header do not need to be completed. In the Report section of the header, click on the Electric Heat box. Total Performance Diagnostic presents the technician's electric heat worksheet with its familiar readings in, results out format. We will not be using the static pressure field in this demonstration. Its unique use and purpose is covered in another video. The reading side of the worksheet is completed by entering the data collected from the electric heat system into the data boxes located next to the designated reading. Let's start entering the readings and system information we've gathered. Nominal tons is 3 tons. Total Performance Diagnostic utilizes nominal tons in its electric heat calculations because it is often the easiest way to estimate if a system has the right amount of heating capacity. For example, heat pump systems, even in warmer climates, require a minimum of 5 kW of electric heat per cooling ton in order to avoid cold blow during defrost. In colder climates, however, the heating to cooling BTU ratio will be greater than 1 to 1, so Total Performance Diagnostic allows this ratio to be customized for any climate condition using our Preference Modification menu. When electric heat is used without any air conditioning, the number of 5 kW heat strips or the total kW divided by 5 should be entered in the nominal ton space. An additional benefit of using the nominal tons data is the ability to calculate and compare cooling CFM. The filter size is 24 by 20. Indoor unit voltage is 230 volts. The first set of air temperature readings is used to calculate heating performance and should be taken with the system calling for heat and the fan set to the auto position. Fan auto return temperature is 69 degrees. Fan auto supply temperature is 110 degrees. The second set of air temperature readings is used to calculate cooling CFM. The technician must first verify that the fan on fan speed and cooling fan speed are the same. Then set the thermostat fan selection to the fan on setting and take the second set of air temperature readings. Fan on return temperature is 69 degrees. Fan on supply temperature is 106 degrees. Our final entry is the element amp draw of 60 amps. Now let's click on the calculate results button to calculate and display our results. The results are displayed using four columns. The first column lists the performance items being measured. The low and high columns display the minimum and maximum acceptable operating ranges. These ranges can be easily modified using Total Performance Diagnostics Preference Modification menu. The actual column displays the calculated performance results for each item. The first and most important thing the service technician will probably notice is the heating performance percentage. In this case, it's 96% of maximum capacity. But let's take a more in-depth, line-by-line examination of the electric heat report. Filter area low is 3 square feet. The actual filter area is 3.3 square feet. The minimum acceptable heating CFM is 1,005 cubic feet per minute. The maximum heating CFM is 1,099 cubic feet per minute. This system is moving 1,057 cubic feet per minute. The electric heat BTUs should be between a minimum of 41,787 BTUs and a maximum of 49,161 BTUs. This system is moving 
47,113 BTUs. Electric heat temperature difference should be between 35 degrees and 45 degrees. This system is producing a 41 degree temperature difference. With a 3 ton heat pump or air conditioning system, we would expect the cooling CFM for this system to fall between 1,050 cubic feet per minute and 1,200 cubic feet per minute. This system's actual cooling CFM is 1,172 cubic feet per minute. Clicking the Save Report button at the bottom of the page will save, archive, display, and email the client report. Performance Diagnostics Client Report contains the same information as the technician's worksheet. The report information, however, is reformatted to present your company as a professional organization and to better communicate system performance to the client. Your clients will love the clarity and level of detail included in the client report.